G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new. Today I've got Collage Club for July 2024. This, I'm actually coming this a little bit early. It's not even the end of June yet. I mean, it's close to, but I feel very on top of everything. Um, I have your <laughs> sheets here. I'm just gonna go through them really quickly. I also wanna make sure you're reminded that we're doing Virtual Voyage 9. Uh, starting July 10th. So I'll try and link. Well, I don't know if I'll have it by this point. Whenever it is, uh, just keep an eye out on social media. I'll have links available to register, but we it kicks off live. So there's really not, you're not missing anything uh, until July 10th when we start our embarkation day. So that is my next live JLB Creative Workshop. Hope you can join us there. It's me, myself, and I. And uh, funnily enough, the first page in Collage Club is not from that, but it kind of relates to the theme. There's a lot of self-portraits in here. Every time I put these pa uh, the pages together, remember I told you I kind of collect the imagery and I put them in a big master file and then I pull them from there to create themed pages if I see themes kind of emerging. Every time I do this, I just call it boys or like boys too or more boys <laughs> because it's just kind of rare that I draw masculine figures in my journals. But if I do, it's usually a self-portrait. It's some kind of self-representation. So, uh, you're kind of getting a whole page of self-portraits. Sorry if that's not what you wanted, but hopefully uh, if you have been trying to find some ephemera to depict masculine type imagery, this helps a little bit. I'd throw them in every now and again, but you know I'm mostly into my girls, into my girls, my female fashion figures, my divas. All right, so here we go. These are a lot of portraits. This is a bunch from Art Snacks, my Art Snacks summer uh, video. I don't even know if it'll be up by the time you see this. So just pretend you didn't see most of these <laughs> if you're going to watch that. Uh, I do have to get this out, so I, I can't stagger this release to coincide. So hopefully it's out by that point. Um, and yeah, this one was from when I did uh, Preserved at Knots, this little lumberjack, cute little sketch there. This one was a kind of very graphic... Uh, interpretation of a photo that I had taken of myself and I really wanted to make it really angular and pull out of the f I wanted to pull the features in a way that a caricature artist would do it so like noticing really specific things like my downturned eyes or like my pointy out ears and uh, I actually really like how this turned out I'm kind of interested in exploring that a little bit this was from Art Snacks as well the spring video I believe and then this was from my old uh, Hobonichi Avec A6 planners, just one of the little sketches in there. These were some cute little Art Journaling the Magic uh, sketches from years ago. So a lot of boys on this one. This is, I think I titled this Summer Pixar. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I think it's all Pixar related. A lot of it's Inside Out. I just went to go and see Inside Out too, and I wanted to pull some of that imagery uh, from my archive, from my Virtual Voyage 4 workshop, because not only did I love that workshop, uh, but I also loved the stuff we did from Inside Out on there. It was very uh, Sir Quentin Blake inspired. We used a lot of his art style to uh, learn how to kind of very effectively and quickly depict scenes and pictures, and we're going to kind of explore more of that in Virtual Voyage 9 as well. So if some of this style kind of floats your boat, you might see some, some of that in there. This is a lot of Inside Out, like I said, there's some Monsters Inc. in there. These were Journal Islands, uh, or not Journal Islands, Islands of Personality from Inside Out, but this was Journal Islands, so I kept my little thumbnail sketch there in black and white, and then my colourful version there. Lots of the characters from Inside Out just kind of on their own, and I figured that would just kind of be fun to play with. There's, I think there's always more joy than all the other characters. I, I liked to draw her. And the, the house from Inside Up. Inside Up? <laughs> Inside Out. <laughs> No, it's up. The house from up. Inside up. Uh, and then a little flourish of Pixar colored stickers there. That's actually a bunch of printables from back then that I had stuck in my journal as a little cluster. And then I had scanned the cluster and put them in here. And Slinky Dog from Toy Story. Some of this, I think, was uh, sketches I did as I was flipping through the art of Inside Out, like the concept art and I was uh, getting familiar with that. So a lot of these I don't think are that original. Uh, they're just uh, reference sketches from my studies. Except the booze, those are from, uh, we did Rune Naito was our style inspiration for Monsters, Inc. So it's very kawaii, like retro Japanese, and I really love that. 
This is, I think I wrote Disney on this. <laughs> it's very Disney themed. You can tell I'm having a big Disney Pixar summer because of my uh, dancing, but I wanted to put more summery things in here. Virtual Voyage, I'm, you know, it's kind of, it's cruise ship themed, so I wanted to include this, but this was actually a sketch of Small World, uh, like all the little flags at Small World. There's the spinning teacups. We did this, I think April Gleason uh, was doing this when we met up at a, like just a park day once, and that's who I'm remembering kind of leading this, but it, we, I think we just drew ourselves with like a bunch of uh, things that we liked around it. And I ended up drawing all of my favorite things just kind of in her hair. So like Japan, my art journaling, mermaids, my art supplies, television, love TV. Uh, well, I love to watch things. <laughs> it's usually YouTube now. And uh, custard tart <laughs> in her hair. <laughs> so... I thought that was really cute. I don't think I've ever shared that before. So I wanted to share that. There's another island of personality that was Disneyland. We did, at Art Drilling the Magic years ago, I taught this lesson called the Wedge Dress Princess. And it was a summer themed workshop. So we, and it was citrus, citrus themed. It was in summer. So I used uh, citrus wedges to kind of create these illustrations that were very Mary Blair-esque. And this was one of the bell lemon dresses. There's one of the lemon Mickeys. I use lemon a lot because my husband's last name is Limones and it means lemon. So usually lots of lemon things around our house <laughs> for that reason. There's Mr. Potato Head in a, I think it was a left-handed drawing with crayons. And then some Alice in Wonderland uh, ride art that we did. This is a lot of this. I think all of this really is from Art Journaling the Magic journals. I pulled them out the other day and there's just a whole bunch of stuff I've never shared from in there. So you might see some more of that coming out. It's always nice to kind of revisit that. I I just love seeing where all the styles jump from, you know, one experience to the next. And this was a really fun, uh, very cute, kind of happy period of, of artwork. You know, when I get into my fashion illustration, it gets really dramatic, <laughs> really dramatic and really diva. And, uh, and, and the mermaids and stuff start to get really whimsical and uh, you know, I get into my Tim Burton and then everything gets ooky ooky spooky. But this is, uh, this always makes me feel very happy and joyous. And I love all the, all the kind of very naive looking children's looking artwork. So, and I felt like it was fun and summery for all my people in summer. Speaking of, uh, this one I think was called Under the Sea and a lot of it was just water related. So there's a sea monkey there. Have I ever told you my sea monkey story? I think I have, but just really quickly. I got sea monkeys for Christmas, wanted them so badly. And we went to Southwest Rocks and in the caravan, I had my sea monkeys just by the sink and I could, the water was getting a little murky. So I wanted to freshen up the water. So I tipped it all out, fresh, cleaned out the tank, freshened up the water, and then uh, went to put my sea monkeys back in and realized I tipped them all out to clean the tank. So it was really sad. I'd kind of killed them all. I was so upset. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while for them to grow too. So like I'd got them on Christmas. I think it'd been about like a week and a half at that point. I was just really loving it. Yeah, I tipped them all out. And the worst part was, is that it drained like into the, the caravan. So I was, I thought I could go in and get them and it was a whole mess and a whole drama, but yeah, RIP to those sea monkeys. Anyway, that's that. Uh, these were Alibrijes I did for Virtual Voyage 4. A lot of this is from Virtual Voyage 4, which kind of makes sense because I was going through those journals. Some Luca sketches here. I love the Luca transformation type sketch where he's, uh, you know, half sea monster. This one, he's kind of fully sea monster. Uh, and then this one where he's human up top, sea monster down the bottom, half and half, half and half, half and half. Uh, there's a float in our parade, Pixar Pal, Better Together, a Pixar Pals celebration. Very long title. <laughs> There's a float where, uh, in the Luca unit, and I really love the float. There's, it's kind of uh, see-through, kind of blue that's water, and Luca and Alberto are in there, but above the water, they're, they're human selves, and then underneath the water, uh, they're their monster selves. And I just think that is so cute and so clever, and you can kind of see through the the blue water to kind of see their monster legs under there. There's a rock formation in there too, if you've never looked close, but if you ever see that parade, just enjoy the Luke unit. I just love it. I really want to dance in it, but only the girls dance in that unit. <laughs> um, and this was World of Color. This is a little piece. I actually had writing in there. I took it out just in case you wanted to put your own writing in there. I know it's very specific, but it was just a little concept art 
I did it at Juggling the Magic for World of Color. You can see all the different uh, contour pen, ballpoint pen drawings behind the fountains there. Well, it's a representation of fountains. As well as a lot of my art, there's nothing too true to life usually. And then the last page is a very hectic spread of alphabets and numbers and little bits and pieces. It's for these. Uh, what are these called? Candy bracelets? I don't know what they're called. Um, but ever since Taylor Swift started touring, everyone's been doing these candy bracelets. And I have a few that people made for me. This one says Mosaic, which is the name of the dancer spot that I do in the Pixar Parade. This one says Martinets. I uh, it's Your Life. And when I did It's Your Life, Charlie Brown, we were called the Martinets. And this one is Amor es Amor, which Love is Love. And we got that at Pride Night. So people just give me these bracelets. I've never really made one, I don't think. But I seem to be collecting quite a bunch of them. I think I have a Goring 20s one as well. I think they're so cute. And I love people giving them to me. So I wanted to... Uh, make a whole alphabet of those beads, those little uh, letter beads. I wanted to put some numbers in there as well. If you noticed, I've taken all the vowels, A-E-I-O-U, and put them up here, and I've made tons of them up here, because you usually need a lot of those. And each of the rest of the letters, like the rest of the alphabet, there are three sets. So there's a ton in here. You shouldn't have to print this too many times unless you're alliterating like crazy. But So there's three full alphabets of like consonants, and there's however many of these vowels. There's tons. There's also a bunch of numbers. Uh, I think there's a couple of sets of numbers, but the two, there's so many extra twos because I noticed when I made uh, numbers before, I always ran out of twos first because I was usually putting dates to things and I would put like 2020 or 2022. That was wild year to be doing numbers was 2022. <laughs> uh, 2024 is not as egregious, but I just wanted to make sure that you had a bunch of extra twos for that reason and a few extra zeros. There's some blanks down here, so if you want to, uh, you know, do your own, you can do that. But then there's just a run bunch of random ones like Diva, there's a pencil, JRNL for journal, um, some eyes and some lashes. Gotta have my lashes. Just a, little, a few little Diva extras just to decorate it out. But I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna after this video, I'm going to do a little thing for my journal and show you how I was going to do it. Cause I think I'm just going to string them along. Like I'm going to put them on my page and then connect them with a, a squiggle, like a line. And I might color them as well. I printed these on matte, uh, matte sticker paper. And obviously I use my, uh, silhouette portrait. So they're all just stickers. So that's gonna be really easy for me to use, but I think I might just color them in as I go. Uh, and we'll see. Hopefully I'll have cute little bracelet letters. I know it's super random, and I'm not even a Swifty. Like I don't, I didn't really care that Taylor Swift fans were doing them. I just saw them pop up in the culture, and I thought that would be a really cute idea for an alphabet. So I hope you like those. Very fussy if you don't have a silhouette portrait. So I always encourage you to keep an eye out for one. If you're, I know they seem fiddly, but if you can get used to using the silhouette portrait cutting machine, it has literally changed my life. Steve was coming in uh, five minutes ago and was looking at my. Uh, set up and it, well, before this video and then he uh he was like look at how that thing cuts and I said I have literally never changed the blade in the years that I've had it and it just works like I don't need a mat that's the best part as well it's not only does it fit like right here it's not even that big you don't need a cutting mat so you're not trying to peel things off you're not lining things up you just pop it in like this you can see these lines on the side that's where the roller kind of feeds it through and it just I put the paper in like this and it just feeds it through like a printer and just runs it back and forwards cuts the whole thing out and I'm done things like that can be a little fiddly with registration sometimes you got to work around a few things and uh but once you get used to it, it's, it's such a dream. It's fully changed how I journal because I use so much of the ephemera uh, that I create for Collage Club. I use so much of it in my journals again. And I just, I love to have that option of not cutting and gluing because that was the thing that always got in the way before. So this is not a sponsored video for Silhouette Portrait by any means. They do not give me any money to say anything about their brand. <laughs> But if you can find one for like a, you know, you know, when they do the cheap deals over Thanksgiving, that's when I got mine. And I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's for July. July is my birthday month. I'll be turning 34 at the end of the month. So uh, I'll see you then and bother you with all of my egregious birthday posts around then. <laughs> I hope you have a great time using your Collage Club 
printables. Don't forget to join us for Virtual Voyage 9 if you're looking to get in on that. It's always best to join live those workshops. Um, totally understandable if we don't meet, we don't see you there, uh, but I will be very excited to catch up with you then and start that course. All right, have a great day, everyone. Bye.